Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, hey, Philip. Well, I understand that you've challenged me to the Owensboro Health Gives Campaign Ice Bucket Challenge. Philip, I want you to know that I'm no stranger to challenges. Well, I remember back in high school, my senior year, our football team was on its way to the state playoffs. And right before the championship game, my coach approached me and said, Ward? I said, yes, sir. He said, Ward, I have a challenge for you. I challenge you to lead your team to this playoff win and ultimately to state championship. And he said, Ward, and I said, yes, sir. He said, do you accept this challenge? And I said, yes, sir, I do. We lost. So as within all things, hope springs eternal, both literally and figuratively. So that spring, I turned in pigskin for horsehide. Our baseball team was on, a, on its way like a juggernaut to the state championship. Having blown through the district and the regional championships, we were headed to the final four. And right before we played that game, my coach grabbed me and pulled me aside and said, Ward? I said, yes, sir. He said, Ward, I challenge you to lead your team to this victory and ultimately to a state championship. He said, Ward, I said, yes, sir. He said, do you accept this challenge? I said, yes, sir, I do. We lost. So after high school, I began racing cars. When I was in Pocono, Pennsylvania, at Pocono International Raceway, I met an ex-Formula One driver named Bertel Roos. Bertel challenged me. He said, Ward, to be the best, you have to beat the best. He said, Ward, and I said, yes, sir. He said, Ward, I challenge you to go to Europe and race against the best and to beat them. He said, Ward, I said, yes, sir. He said, Ward, do you accept this challenge? And I said, yes, sir, I do. So I was on the, ch on the plane in less than a week on my way to England where I began racing. And things were going really well. Top five finishes, sharp end of the grid. At least there are no lasting effects. So now my challenges are in the ring. No, not the boxing ring, the dog show ring. You see, I recently purchased a boxer puppy. And when I went to get her, the breeder said, Ward, I said, yes, ma'am. She said, Ward, I challenge you to make Surrey a champion. She said, Ward, I said, yes, ma'am. She said, Ward, do you accept this challenge? I said, yes, ma'am, I do. Well, as you can see, things started off with promise. Sorry, looked good, her ears were standing up, she was stacked properly. We even competed well in the ring together. Even got a few blue ribbons. But then I think success went to her head. She started staying out late, hanging out with ruffian mutts, stray cats, coming in late. And I been, began finding her in the morning like this. It's been a tough realization, but I think I very well may have the canine version of Lindsay Lohan living in my house. So Philip, as you can see, I'm no stranger to challenges. As you can see, my problem has been meeting or succeeding in those challenges. Well, I'm here to tell you that that stops today. It stops here, it stops now, because I accept your challenge. But before I take my place in the challenge chair, I want to extend a challenge of my own to all Owensboro Health employees. If you didn't give last year, or if you're a new employee to the organization, I challenge you to find a way to give something. What you give can make a difference in people's lives. And if you gave last year, I challenge you to do what I'm doing this year, and that is to increase your pledge. Remember, this is our opportunity to give back to the community and to help others and now to the challenge chair. So here I am in the challenge chair getting ready to succeed and fulfill in the challenge. I'm getting ready to have ice water dumped on me by my soon to be former executive assistant, Jeannie Norsha. I'm ready to succeed.
that's a wrap.